Sadly, I am. You have begun to see your true nature. Take the book you seek. Absolutely stuck. You're back. Oh, can you both? I think that you so. Where do we? I'd like. Where would you? Scarabray. the link I will be lost forever tell me what I need to do first you must consult the sacred statue here on the Isle of Scarabray the statue will tell you the mantra of spirituality once you have learned the mantra come back here and perform the ritual of return the ritual is simple set the bell book and candle around me in a triangle then open the book and read the passage that you find therein light the candle and ring the bell once you have done that speak the mantra of spirituality once the sacred mantra has been spoken i will be brought back into the physical world Not there. 
Is it around his no, of course it's around May his blessings be upon body, isn't it? Avatar, I know that you are journeying even now to Sir Britannia. I'm about to embark on a spiritual journey to the father more exactly the nature of our enemy is. This journey is a dangerous one. Because the separation of my spiritual self from my physical self is something where to disrupt the delicate balance between these two selves might be unable to return. If this is the case, then you, my friend, must help me for the rich and you must have developed courage. Book of truth and the candle of love. Only with these things you will reconnect my two selves again. Before the ritual can be complete, you must remove a sacred fire for someone to protect me. I must light the braziers in this chamber in order to release the barrier. If then and then you'll be able to complete the summary ritual. After you remove the barrier, place the elder candle in a crest hand. Use each of them to recite the mantra spirituality. To complete the ritual, please hurry up to our time, is very short. You said you did it years ago. Thanks for the host. Haha, <laughs> no problem. See you later. that I wasn't going to make it back into this world. I need to tell you some important information that I learned about the Guardian and about Lord British while I was on my spirit quest. What about the Guardian? This is troubling news, friend. And I beg you to listen with an open mind. The Guardian is not simply some evil being from out of the wastes of the Void. He's specifically tied to Britannia and to you. Tied to me? What exactly are you trying to say? The Guardian is part of you, or at least he was once part of you. The Guardian is a result of what happened when you became the Avatar. The evil side of you was stripped away, and eventually it coalesced into the Guardian. 
So you're telling me that the Guardian is my evil twin? I wouldn't say that he's your twin, but he is, or was, a part of you. How can that be true? I know that it's not a pleasant idea, but think about it. When you became the Avatar, the evil side of you was stripped away. All of that negative energy had to go somewhere, didn't it? This isn't a verdict against you, Avatar. If anything, it's a validation of your being the Avatar, or a fault in the concept of a person being all things good to a people. In any case, the Guardian is out there, and he needs to be defeated. Then there's the matter of where Lord British has gone. What do you need to tell me about Lord British? Lord British has gone off to the Abyss to confront Blackthorn. This is the first time that the old fellow has left his castle in years, and I think what he's doing is very dangerous. Don't worry about the old boy. <coughs> He'll be fine. Well, I disagree, and I think you need to go into the Abyss and make sure nothing happens to your liege lord. Well, don't worry. I'll follow him and make sure that no harm comes to him. There is, however, one problem with that. When Lord British used the gate ritual to travel to the Abyss, he sealed it off to anyone else. I only know of one way to defeat the gate ritual that Lord British performed, but I'm not certain that we should use it. How can we defeat Lord British's ritual? The gate ritual sealed the Abyss to beings who live outside of it. If you could summon a creature native to the Abyss that possesses magic, that creature should be able to defeat the ritual. But that means summoning a great demon. Is it right that we use such a force of evil, even if it aids us in our quest? We may do as we please, so long as no others are harmed by our actions. I'll summon this creature, but we'll be sure to bind it so that it can't get free and harm anyone. Who are you? Who has summoned me here? Why have you disturbed me? Greetings, restless spirit. I summoned you because I need your help. What? The Avatar? You're the one who caused Pyros to destroy me. Have you lost your mind? We need his help. You can't anger him like that. Oh, yeah. Tell him You're right. I should be more tactful. Yes, you should. Now try again. Please forgive me for disturbing your rest, Malkir, but I must beg a favor. Why would I want to help you? You are the person responsible for my death and the torture that I've endured since. If it were within my power, I would strike you down where you stand. Please, I need your help. This world depends on it. What do I care? You've already ruined my world. Why should I help you save another one? Now leave me alone. Torture. What torture have you suffered? Do you think the Pyro's flame stopped burning me once my body was dead? Well, I've been burning in those flames from the moment that Pyro's dispatched me. Since that time, the only thing that I've felt aside from the flames is my hatred of you. And now, you want me to help you? <laughs> Yes. Good spirit. You burn not from Pyro's flames, but from your own hatred of the Avatar. Who are you? What do you know of me and my pain? Go on, Shamino. Talk to him. Thank you. Malkir, I do not know... The flame that burned you comes not from Pyros, but from your hatred of the Avatar. Release that anger, and you will be freed of your pain. Hmm. 
I can feel a strong knowledge of spirituality within you. Perhaps you're right. But how do I free myself of the hate that has sustained me for so long? Help us. Give us the ritual that will summon Pyros. In doing so, your act of forgiveness will free you of your hatred and pain. I see the truth in your words. Very well. I will help you. If you wish to summon Pyros, do the following. And do not deviate one bit from what I tell you. Place a demon skull, sulfurous ash, spider silk, and black rock into the center of a pentagram. After this is done, place a red candle in the center of the pentagram and light it. The reagents will be consumed and Pyros will appear. Thank you, gentle spirit. No. My thanks go to you. Already I feel the flame subside as the hate leaves me. Finally, I am at peace. Farewell. Very well. You know the ritual. But it must be cast from the Isle of the Avatar, and then only near the lost entrance to the dungeon. You have it within yourself to find the Isle, my friend. Just look deeply within yourself, and you'll find the island. everyone for the hosts. To get to the Abyss, we must go to the Isle of the Avatar. Where would you like to go? Why not? Let's go. Got some black rock. Where would you like to go? Isle of the Avatar. <laughs> Oops. 
which has been hidden, but I found it. Why do you waste your time on these people? They are not worth your efforts. Hmm. Probably right. 